Hello and welcome. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new pride of the Turkish Navy, the TCG Anadolu ship. This magnificent ship represents Turkey's capabilities in defense, industry, and naval power. It's not just a vessel, but also a symbol of Turkish engineering and maritime skills. If you're ready, let's begin. The first block of TCG Anadolu, consisting of 114 blocks, was laid in February 2018 and the ship met the sea on May 4, 2019. Over time, there were several changes in the delivery date of the ship. Temporary delivery was made on January 21, 2023, and it officially entered service in the Turkish Navy on April 10, 2023. TCG Anadolu is currently the flagship ship of the Turkish Navy and has the highest displacement among its ships. Specifications of TCG Anadolu Multipurpose Amphibious Ship Length to 131.82 meters, width 32 meters, height 58 meters, draft 6.9 meters. Full load displacement 27,436 tons. Flight deck length to 100 to meters, flight deck, 5,440 square meters, deck feature, 6 helicopter landing points, ramp, 12, maximum speed at full load, 21 knots, cruising speed, 16 knots, range, 9,000 nautical miles, main propulsion, 5-man 16 volts, 3 to a 40 diesel engines, endurance without supply, 30 days, maritime capacity, operations of unit flying in sea state 5. Loading and unloading operations in Sea State 4. Service life, 40 years, crew, 371 plus 50 aircrew. 50 hospital staff, 550 to 700 amphibious marine infantry, total approximately 1,200. Self-defense to 20 millimeters phalanx CIWS, 5 Aselsan stop, hangar area, 900 square meters Bayraktar TB3, Kizilelma, SH-70B, AH-1W, Dock pool area, 1,410 square meters for LCM mechanized landing ship, or two LCAC air cushion landing ship, and for LCVP personnel landing ship. Heavy vehicle garage, 1,410 square meters, 13 tanks, 27 Zaha, 6 CPT, 33 various vehicles, 15 trailers, light cargo garage, 1,880 square meters, aircraft capacity. 30 to 50 UAVs. For attack helicopters, eight medium cargo helicopters to general purpose helicopters. TCG Anadolu has a fully equipped hospital with at least 30 beds. Two operating theaters, burn treatment, pressure chamber, dental treatment, and intensive care units. Havelson Product Genesis Advent Combat Management System. Assels and Product SMA RTS MK to 3D Search Radar, ARES to NV to Radar Electronic Support System, Denitskes Autopot System, Peri Infer Ed Search and Tracking System, AREAS to N Radar System to Surveillance Radars, An Aircraft Detection and Control Radar, A Precision Approach Radar to Electro Optical Search Systems, Kalkin Chaffee Infrared IR Decoy Launch Control System. Heiser Base Torpedo Mixing and Deception System. Armelson Product A, RAS20 to 3 Diver Detection Sonar, and many domestic systems, software, and equipment are used on TCG Anadolu. L400 Among the missions of TCG Anadolu are amphibious operations, delivery of aid in natural disasters, hospital ship, and evacuation operations of non combatants. The ship's heavy load garage has a capacity of 13 tanks, 27 ZAHA armored amphibious assault vehicle, 6 CPT, 33 various vehicles, and 15 trailers. 
Unlike sister ships, the ship's pool is not divided into two. There are four LCMIS or two LCACs and two LCVPs in the ship pool. LCMIS are produced at set of shipyard under Navancho license. The production of LCVPs has also been made. But the procurement of LCAC air cushion landing ship has not been made. The placement of a QSV armed unmanned sea vehicle on TCG Anadolu is discussed. Baycar developed the Bayraktar TB3, which can be deployed from the ship, folding wings over Bayraktar TB2. In addition, it was announced that Bayraktar Kizaloma will also be stationed at TCG Anadolu. In the announcements made in 2021, it was stated that a catapult-like system is needed for TB3 to take off. But in current statements, it is announced that TB3 will take off and land without any additional support. In addition, it has been stated that while Bayraktar Kizalelma Mayas can take off without additional support, it will need a cable in landings. In 2024, Bayraktar TB3, Bayraktar Kizalelma will be stationed at TCG Anadolu in 2025, with the completion of the AQAV armed unmanned air vehicle deployment. TCG Anadolu will be the world's first AQAV ship. Test pilots stated that, if necessary, necessary adaptation can be made for the use of Herka on TCG Anadolu. While no additional vehicle is needed for landing, additional power is needed for takeoff. Since the primary mission of TCG Anadolu is amphibious operations, the need for ship-based attack helicopters to support elements landing on land has increased. As the delivery date of the ship approaches, for this reason, if a sea version of T-929 Attack 2 is developed, it is certain that it will be used on TCG Anadolu. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share to closely follow developments in defense industry. Thank you very much.